Very good day to everybody. This is Algorithms 1 and in this class we will discuss about the traveling salesman problem and about the knapsack problem. So this is of course to you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr.christranan at the rate of gmail.com. So before beginning the session once again let me thank God for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers. In this class, we will discuss about TSP, Traveling Salesman Problem, about the different solutions for this TSP. Then we discuss about the dynamic programming solution for this problem using the top-down recursive as well as the memorized approach. Then we have a C++ program for the TSP. Then we discuss about its time complexity. In the second part of today's class, we discuss about knapsack problem. We discuss about its 0 1 implementation. So, that is, we have like different versions. So, 0 1 uh, knapsack problem is what we are going to discuss in today's class. And then we discuss, uh, I mean, we have some independent work for you. Please complete them. We have got just approximately 6 to 7 weeks, and that's it. Okay. So, at regular intervals, I'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics. Right. So, this is the example for us. So, we have a set of cities and we have to find the distance between them. So the problem is you have to find the shortest possible route that is going to visit every city okay, exactly once and once again it is going to return to the starting point. Okay, So we will understand or maybe we will try to uh, stress on the importance or maybe the significance of this TSP with the Hamiltonian cycle. So when you compare with the Hamiltonian cycle like there will be a tour that will be visiting every city exactly once. So here the Hamiltonian tour will be existing because a graph is complete and the problem is to find the minimum weight associated with the Hamiltonian cycle. So for example, we will consider a graph. Okay, So that is 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. Okay. So we will consider the weights accordingly. So we have 10, 25, 30, 15, 10, 25, 30 and then 15. So these are the uh, weights that are associated or maybe these are the costs that are associated 10, 25, 30, 15 and we have to uh, calculate the cost of the two. Okay. So if you can add 25 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10, so it will be 55, 70 and then 80. So total cost is actually 8. Okay. So the problem is to find the non-deterministic polynomial time NP hard problem. So there is no polynomial time solution for this problem. Okay. So whenever you are considering the name solution, you have to consider the city 1 as the starting as well as the ending point and you have to generate the factorial n minus 1 permutations or maybe n minus 1 factorial okay, for the cities. Okay. So you have to calculate the cost for every uh, permutation and you have to you have to keep track of the minimum cost computation okay and you have to return the permutation with the minimum cost so the time complexity is order of n factorial and uh, we propose a dynamic programming solution for the given set of vertices so let us take the vertices to be 1 2 3 4 up to n and let us consider 1 as a starting point as well as the ending point for a given output okay so for every vertex i other than 1, so we have to find the minimum cost path with 1 as the starting point and i as the ending point and all vertices should appear only once. So the cost of the path uh, cost is actually i and the cost of the corresponding cycle would be cost of i plus the, uh, the distance i comma 1. So the distance i comma 1 is the distance from the i to 1 and finally we return the minimum of the cost i plus distance i comma 1. Okay. So, in order to get the cost of i, we have to find out the recursive relation in terms of the subproblems. Okay. So, we have to define a term, okay, the cost of s, i from the source to the destination i, okay, and we have to find the subsets of size 2 and calculate the c of s, i, okay. So, here s is nothing but the subset and we calculate the c of s, i. So, here 1 should be present in every subset and if the size is actually 2, so the subset should be 1 comma i and c of s comma i okay so that is actually distance of 
1 comma i okay else in the case if the size of the es is greater than 2 means then you compute c of es comma i is the minimum uh, the distance okay c of s minus i comma j plus the distance of j comma i okay so here j actually belongs to s and here j factorial is equal to i and j factorial is equal to 1 for the starting as well as the end point so this is the dynamic programming solution we are going to find out the bit mass that are associated with the remaining nodes and for example like we will have like 10 1000 okay so that is going to represent like uh, uh, 2 and then 4 okay and similarly for this one okay so we will have the nodes 1 okay and 4 to be the left in the subset okay so this is a c++ program for the traveling salesman problem so hash include io string using namespace std function so here we consider the four nodes in the example graph okay so it's actually one base so const int n equal to 4 and you have to give a appropriate maximum to avoid the overflow so const int maximum is equal to like uh, 1000 000, and the distance i comma i j is representing the shortest distance from i to j yeah. and the matrix can be calculated for any graph using the all pair shortest pair algorithms okay so here you will have in distance n plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to this you specify the subset like 0 0 0 0 and another one 0 0 10 15 30 i mean 20 0 10 0 25 5 0 15 25 0 30 so this is the distance you are going to specify okay and finally 0 20 25 30 0 then you go with the memorization for the top down recursion okay so the memory it is n plus 1 okay and in function of in i comma in mask and the base case if only if the i bit as well as the first bit is it in the mask then which means that we have visited all the nodes already so if the mask is equal to 1 less than i or 3 so you return the distance 1 i and you go with the memorization if memory of i of mask is not equal to 0 then you return memory of i mask and you uh, initialize the result equal to maximum so that is actually the sub problem or maybe the subnet or sub task that you are going to have and you have to travel across all the nodes j in the mask and you have to find out a recursive relation in order to find the cost of the minimum okay so that is how you are going to have so far int uh, j equal to 1 j less than or equal to n j plus plus then you go with the inner loop if mask ampersand 1 less than j ampersand j uh, factorial equal to i and j factorial equal to 1 so this is actually from this condition okay yes from this condition uh, j factorial equal to i and j factorial equal to 1 okay, okay so that is the case so result in, you will have the standard minimum function okay result in the function of j comma mask plus distance of j i okay and you return the memory function of i and mass to be equal to result finally you go with the driver program this is the important so int ans equal to max and for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus then you go with the visiting all nodes exactly one only one time okay so the shortest route to the one that would be ans equal to standard minimum function ans the function i comma the the function plus distance of i one so the cost of the most efficient tool okay so that you are going to calculate from this uh, image okay so 10 plus 25 plus uh, 30 plus 15 so that would be equal to 80 so the cost of the most efficient tool would be 80 so we have the time complexity also so what if the case like uh, if it is great the size is less than or equal to 2 and maybe size is greater than 2 so for the set of size n we consider n minus 2 subsets each having the size of n minus 1 okay so we will try to understand the recursive relation and for that only we will propose a dynamic programming based solution okay so since we are calculating like n factorial so like uh, the order should be n multiplied by 2 power n will have some problems and this is the uh, time complexity that is associated so the time complexity is lesser than the order of n factorial but still it will be exponential okay so space also it is exponential so for higher number of vertices this uh, 
traveling salesman problem it does not fit or may be suitable to it then we move on to the knapsack problem so maybe if we have like associated weights or maybe values for the n items you have to put it in a nutshell knapsack of the capacity w in order to find the maximum total value so the two integer values will specify value of 0 to n minus 1 and weighted factor like 0 to n minus 1 so that is nothing but the weight values as well as the weights so here we will have the integer w it is nothing but the knapsack cap capacity and then we will find out the maximum value subset of value okay so this is actually 0 to 1 problem so we will have value 60 100 120 weight 10 20 30 and weight corresponds to 50 so you have to check whether it is greater than the 50 okay so for example weight 10 value 60 so for each of the thing we'll have okay and for the second case weight 20 value 100 and weight 30 value 120 so for this case weight you will have 20 plus 10 okay in the same case 100 plus 60 and similarly for this one 30 plus 10 similarly 120 plus 60 weight um, uh, 30 plus 20 120 plus 100 okay and this weight this 30 plus 20 plus 10 should be greater than 50 so that is the case and the solution should be 220 so the simple solution is that you have to consider all the subset of items and you have to calculate the total weight and the corresponding values for the subsets okay so this is the optimal substructure in order to consider all the subset of the items so either case should be there okay like uh, the item is included in the optimal subset and the item is not included in the optimal subset okay so that is the case and you have to find the maximum of the two values okay so the maximum value is obtained by n minus 1 items and w weight and you have to find the nth item plus the maximum value obtained by n minus 1 items and w minus the weight of the nth item okay so we'll go with the case okay so using namespace std function so we have a utility function which is going to return the maximum of two integers okay so int max int a comma int b and you return like a is greater than b so for example the size the total size is greater than 50 so that you are going to confirm okay so either it should fall in the optimal sub, uh, subset or maybe it should not fall in the optimal set so that is the case for this one okay and it is going to return the maximum value that is put inside the knapsack capacity w okay so in knapsack in w we will have in value and we will have the base case if n equal to 0 the r operator okay pipeline symbol w equal to 0 and you find the return 0 so if the weight is more means then the knapsack uh, capacity w then the item is not included in the optimal set okay and if the weight n minus 1 is greater than w then you return the knapsack capacity so w weight value and then n minus 1 and you return the maximum of the two cases so this is the thing included not included okay so that is the case else return the maximum value n minus 1 plus the knapsack w minus weight n minus 1 weight value n minus 1 okay and the knapsack value this is the driver code in value 60 100 120 weight 10 20 30 so here it will be computing the value uh, for the weight this is the optimal value 50 and you are going to check if it is greater than 50 okay so if not then it will be computing like 100 plus 120 okay so in, in n is equal to size of value divided by size of value of 0 and see out it's nothing but the knapsack w weight value and then n return 0 so it will have 100 plus 120 it is 220 so uh, that is another alteration that you can try for so you can with the help of any programming language give a dynamic programming solution for the 0 1 knapsack problem and how you will improvise the knapsack function space complexity so you can go through this one you can try practice them and submit them in the google classroom